Hey there, it's Rob Hatch, and this is Simple Decisions. One of the things that I like to do every day as I am preparing for the next day is to rewrite my entire list, whatever that list is. We can call it a to-do list. I don't particularly care for to-do lists as they are generally thought of, but obviously I have to write down things that need to be done. And what I do is I rewrite whatever that list is every single day. I can't remember where I first heard about this idea. I know I read it in a book somewhere and I wish I could give credit, but I've found it to be particularly effective for me because what it does, what it forces me to do is to face the decision the thing that I put on the list, it forces me to confront that decision once again and say, do I need to do this? Do I, where does this rank? Why am I carrying this over? Why is this sitting on my list time and time again? There's a couple of reasons for this. One, it's interesting what ends up on our lists and never get done. There's also this sense of guilt. You know, we sort of carry over these long to-do lists. I mean, to-do lists, let's be honest, are never ending. So we carry them over and yes, we try to put deadlines on them and all of that sort of thing, but they turn red and they still get ignored and still get ignored. And one of the reasons for that is that we don't face it. We don't confront the decision as to whether or not that should still be part of what we need to do. By, by doing that day after day, I have to decide, am I going to keep this around? Am I going to move it into something where I'm going to devote time for it? Am I going to let it go? Um, we, I have to confront this idea of why I might be avoiding that decision. Is it not important anymore uh, or that activity? Whatever it is, I'm, I'm forced to confront it. So that's the first reason for me is being forced to confront it. The other reason is that as someone with ADHD, one of the things that folks with ADHD struggle with is something called object permanence. Now, this is an idea from early childhood development, first introduced by Piaget. It's, it, it, the idea is that once it's out of sight, it is out of mind, right? We don't remember that it's there. Now, for a child, they literally don't know that it's there at a certain point in their life. And then, of course, they remember that, you know, even though it's not there, it still exists. But for folks with ADHD, um, we use this term to describe this idea. Of course, I know that my list is still there and the things are still on it. But if it's not directly in front of me, I can just is well I might as well just forget it it just disappears from existence and intellectually of course I know it still exists but I just will forget about it so in that way I have to have something in front of me time and time again I have to confront and face this list or the things that I need to do so I need a methodology for that and for me that has been handwriting it out there's an act of the the sort of kinesthetic act of writing for me is a way that I can remember it, sort of cement the decision or cement the memory in my brain that I need to do these things. And again, as I pointed out before, it allows me to confront it. So this is a way to keep it front and center to face this every single day. Now, this may not be possible for everyone to handwrite something every single day. Everyone has different abilities and that may not be the case. The idea though of finding a way to have whatever it is, what you know, and whatever methodology can work for you, um, a means by which you can see and face the decision every single day that, or face the um, reality of the fact that this needs to get done every single day rather than having this sort of ongoing accumulated to-do list that eventually just becomes overwhelming and we, we sort of lose all sense of, of, of our ability to even complete those things. So finding a way 
to confront that every single day simplifies my life makes the decision really really simple because I have to face it rather than having it tucked away in some container either online or some other methodology this is also by the way why planners don't work for me but I'll talk about that on another another day that the container is way too nice and I can just forget a planner even exists uh, but having a methodology that I have to use every single day so the daily sheet which I've referenced before is the perfect methodology for me and I constructed it myself so that I can rewrite carry over every single day anything that I did not complete gets rewritten every single day and it's an amazing tool for me because again I will look at something and say I I don't know why I'm carrying this I can either I either need to do it or it's no longer important uh, or as important as I thought it was so it can just fall away or go on the not right now list which is again another methodology that I use to keep something safe but again I have a method where I have to confront that list month after month and make sure that I look at so that's the most important thing finding ways to face the things that are important the decisions that you have to make creating a system for you to face it, and then be able to make decisions about it. I'm Rob Hatch, and this is Simple Decisions.